All right. So, here we are again. And tonight, I have a beer based on a TV show, which, full disclosure, you're going to hate me, I've never watched. This is a Game of Thrones beer. Um, what do I call it? Oh My Gang Three-Eyed Raven. I... I... I'm sorry. I've been meaning to get into Game of Thrones. I just haven't. Um, all I know of it is that there's lots of tits and lots of sex um, and dragons. And apparently that the sex and tits don't get in the way of the dragons. And they build in the story. That's fine. Um... What do they say? From the darkness, I watch you, all of you, all of your lives with a thousand eyes and one abiding in the shadows of this dark saison lie, belging and entrancing aromas and flavors, girded by crisp, blasting herbal hop notes and yeasty, spicy finish. Pour slowly, do not disturb the yeast settlement, but with vigor to make a luxurious head and free the bouquet. All right, I'll give it a shot. Um, here's an interesting fact. Dom Perignon, who is often credited with inventing champagne, he did not. Um, carbonated wines were all the rage in England for uh, a couple centuries before Dom Perignon showed up. He was actually trying to get rid of the carbonation in wines. What he did invent that still pertains to this day is this little, this little thing, the uh, metal encapsulation on top of the cork. Now I'm going to guess that this is going to be difficult to cut off, so I got the uh, pliers out. Let's, uh, come on. That came off really easy. It's complex malt and hop smell. But again, as regular viewers of uh, my first impressions know, the smell doesn't, the first smell doesn't always follow it up. It, and it's like 7.2% alcohol, so this is really going to be an efficient beer. It's pretty dark. Let's pour it without disturbing the yeast. Mildly carbonated. All right. Let's see what the... Uh, Game of Thrones beer tastes like. It tastes really good. It's, uh, it does have sort of a spicy finish. Not overly. Not overly. Oh, and it just, I just burped and it, it gave more back and it's all it's all good it's all good the aftertaste is um, pretty strongly malty um, you can feel the warmness of the increased alcohol But it's good stuff. It, it wasn't cheap. It was like ten dollars for this bottle, which is seven fifty mils. It's uh oh, when's it good? 
Well, it's good until next April, so yeah. We're fine. And yeah, it's. Um, You know, taste is mild. The aftertaste comes on pretty strongly. Very, very malty. It does have the sharp, high alcohol taste or tinge to it. It's not, it's slight. It's not overbearing. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. This Omer Gang, Game of Thrones Brewing, or Game of Thrones Brew. Three-Eyed Raven Dark Session Ale. Good shit. If you can find it, pick it up. I hope you can. Peace out. Bottoms up.